Um, hello and welcome to the round six of Premier Daily. <laughs> Sorry, of Premier uh, of Modern Premier with uh, <coughs> with uh, the Domri Zoo or the Blood Moon Zoo deck. Um, I'm, I'm currently three one in this event. I lost round one, so I have no chances to top eight. But uh, I wanted to do, to make like a, a a movie of that where it performs quite well so uh, hopefully we'll be able to um, to win last round and be like 4-2 in this event and then just publish some movies so um, I think that the deck might actually need like 24th land I'm having the one landers far too often maybe just cut like um, the hero in the, in the main deck is also pretty bad so um, I'm gonna be keeping that though because I've got a bold, a death right, a Tarmogoyf, I can play all that and for like one extra mana I can play any of those. Okay, so we're against Tron, this is not a good hand against Tron. Um, our deck should be a lot better against Tron right now. Okay, so that's a good draw. Although against Tron this, this hand is not very good. Um, generally. <laughs> so uh, we can play this hero turn 3. It should be fine on um, on the play but when you're on the draw against Tron and especially if he goes like turn 3 Tron then you're pretty much trouble. Maybe he's on uh, the mono blue Tron, that'll be better. Nah, he's on green Tron. Alright, so he, he's assembling the pieces. Uh, this is like, it's having the turn free Tron an awful lot of times, to be honest. Like, I'm seeing this all the time. Honestly. A lot of that. Alright, so um, let's get that knight. And, well, we, we just basically... What we do here, we just want to raise. Um, just pray that he doesn't have another Tron piece. Then we can play a hero and then have like a shot at something. <coughs> okay, so he's got only the Grove. That's cool. Um, he might Pyroclasm though. Then, then I need another land. So I at least get the the hero out now, probably. If he pyroclasms, then I I need another land, but um, it's still fine. Okay. Oblivion Stone? Nah, he's he's just assembling his throne, okay. So Oh great. I've got a Blood Moon now. This is an awesome top deck. <laughs> this is like holy Holy I'm lucky. Uh yeah, so I'm obviously playing this uh this Blood Moon. And I want white because I want to play the hero blade hold next turn. Um So I'm gonna be sacrificing this and then like obviously a fetch land. I don't care about my life total at all against this deck. Uh, so a very lucky draw here. Mm. Yeah, so just playing this Blood Moon out. And then we have like a, a, a hero next turn, and even if he uh, has that Relic of Progenitus, which makes our deck uh, pretty much a bunch of 1-2s and 2-2s. Two then we're still pretty fine. Just wonder what he has, like he probably just sacrifices this for like green. He needs green, right? Or he can just have um, 
Well, there's gonna be a problem if he has like an Oblivion Stone next turn. Because that's gonna trump me. <laughs> then, then I will have to play out the Hero Blade Hold, probably. And just pray he doesn't have like a fifth land. Right, so um, let's just pray it, it, it's not an Oblivion Stone. Okay, great. No Oblivion Stone, please. Karn is fine. You can have Karn. <coughs> okay, so if it if it was Oblivion Stone, I'm I'm assuming it would be it would be quicker. A relic. Okay. So, uh, uh, guys are, go are basically gonna get like smaller, but like I said, with hero it's not a problem. That's very fortunate we play hero here. Uh, huh. I think I'll just attack with knights first. No, I can't. Can I? Damn it. So I'd very much like to have, uh, okay, I can just, right, because I can just sacrifice that for another planes to play the hero. So let's just try to play it like that, and then I can play like a Tarmogoyf as well. Okay, it's fine. So I actually got a hero. And I'm also gonna get a Tarmogoyf out. Cause if I just sacrifice this one. Yeah, so next time we're getting for a lot of damage. Um yeah, I guess a planes. Regardless of him having that relic or not. So that that's very fortunate for us. Uh well that we have had this hero after all. <laughs> it was it was very good for once. Cause Fanimo wouldn't be so good here. Right. I can just bolt and then like sacrifice another land for the for the knight next turn. And then just attack with the okay, the pyroclasm. Pyroclasm would be bad. Double pyroclasm would be tragic. All right, all right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that was fun. So, uh, he didn't need Oblivion Stone, because he just had a double, a double Oblivion, a double Pyroclasm, uh, which was, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm missing words <laughs> for that. Okay, so was that a Worm Coil, and I'm dead? Oh, great. <laughs> oh, that's so great, a double Pyroclasm. I was I was so sure I'm fine in this game, <laughs> and then, then he just goes double pyroclasm, and I'm uh, yeah sure. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm feeling like well well I, I did <laughs> I did draw that blood moon, uh, which was pretty fortunate or, or basically a very fortunate thing, but. Uh, <laughs> Well, the double pyroclasm into the six land into our room coil. It's like under the blood moon. <laughs> yeah, so um, so he gets my domri now. 
or well, I can just block with the knight. I guess I just block with the knight. It probably doesn't matter. I'm probably just that. He also has another relic here, so just. Oh, he also has Karn. Oh no, just a second. Alright, that's just absurd. That, that was a very absurd game. Well, um, that's that's what I always uh, that, that's what I always was saying. Um, Relic of Progenitus is terrible for this deck. It's honestly one of the worst things that can happen to this deck. Uh, but with the version I've got now, it, there should be some some protection from it. So um, <clears throat> still. It feels like very unlucky that he just had that double pyroclasm and then just straight went for all the lands and then just well, had it all. Um, right, um, the removal is well, the, the balls are not doing anything in this matchup. Um, I think I just keep the kitchen things. I mean, they're, they're not aggressive, but. Alright, so just one kitchen things, yeah. But they let you uh, well, come back from the mass removal somehow. Uh, the very important card for this matchup is actually Stony Silence. If I can just get Stony Silence turn two onto the um, onto the board, uh, it's usually that. It's basing very much on like um, the Relic of Progenitus and uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Oblivion Stone. So, uh, some Pride Mages and Cross and Grips by mainly Stony Silence, which is mainly against this deck and Affinity, really, in the sideboard. Uh, by the way, I haven't seen Tron in like a long time. I don't, I, I don't know why it, fell, why it fell off, but um, it's probably because it was basically an anti jump deck, and everyone just has haste, just has hate for this deck anyway. Right, so uh, he takes his time. Probably gonna gonna just wait to the to the end of sideboarding. Alright, so uh, yeah, we've got the stone silence. If we got the stone silence, I'm just keeping it. It's like no second thoughts about it. Also, a fandom is very good against him because. Uh, it's not affected by anything, basically. So, Stony Silence are a lot better than Blood Moon, because uh, you saw what happens under Blood Moon often, and uh, with Stony Silence, most of his deck just stops working. Which is insane, basically. <clears throat> he doesn't get to look for anything, he doesn't get... his, his mass removal doesn't work. Uh, his... well, basically, Grave Hate doesn't work for most of my deck. So, unless he's got like very lucky Tron from the, oh god, don't have the Tron in hand, please. So, <laughs> unless he's got that, uh, I'm actually pretty sure I should win this. Unless he just like puts another Tron piece and I won't coil. And that's very improbable without him even like launching one expedition map. But it can happen <laughs> and it does sometimes. Okay. So Domri not great in this matchup, but I'll just let us play. Let's just let's just draw that additional card sometimes. And with the first ones, if we don't like the top deck we can always just break the first one. So uh it's actually a bit more than like that 50-50 to draw the creature because if we don't see the creature then we just launch the first hand and have like something else and if we do draw a creature uh, then we still can <laughs> crack a first hand actually so it's a, a win-win situation I right, just don't have another one piece please okay great uh, he might have nature's claim though it's very possible Okay, so that, that's the stomping ground we've already seen. Uh, if we don't like it, then we play Verdant. Yeah, we don't like it, definitely. 
So we just played Verdant Catacombs and just crack it. Oh, for no red mana. <laughs> I forgot I'm playing like one stomping ground right now. But I've got red here, fortunately. So. Right. So he might have Nature's Claim just to target that and then look for his strong piece and then have like Karn or something. Uh, but I can't prevent it basically so I just have to go with it. I think he's got Nature's Claim. He's waiting for something definitely. Yeah, he's got it. So now he gets this third strong piece and he's got like Worm Coil. And it gets like bonkers for us. So, um, what can I say? <laughs> it's a very good job for him. Uh, oh, great. So we just launch it right now. Yeah, he just launches it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I can just... <laughs> he just got everything. Uh... There's, there's really nothing to comment about. It's like, he, he has that land, uh, that green land in hand. And and then then he has that mass removal and then he probably just goes into Karn and just throwing like lands. And that's it. Okay, so he obviously has uh, the fetch finger right now so uh, he will yeah well that's just bonkers it's not getting anything Yeah, so, uh, well, that, that's just over. He just plays the Worm Coil and then he's gonna start fetching more, more things. Um, now we're just dead. <laughs> just like that. Oh, great. A hero. Oh, great. Another land. <sighs> right. He will obviously attack and, um, and just kill my Domri. That's like I feel like in the matches I I, I lost. I, I I was like helpless. And it didn't feel like the deck was terrible, but. But, uh, <laughs> I can just got punished. Alright, so uh, with that he just fetches anything. He just... It's just... Unevitable. Just wins. He's probably gonna have, like, Emrakul right now. I think so. Ah, uh, so... Oh, not yet. So just just a honorable attack and then I'm dead. Hero would take over the game, especially if Gavoni Township very quickly, but well, it's it's not relevant right now. Not with the eye of a gin. Yes, I'm dead. I think he can cast a miracle, can he? Six, eight, ten. Why didn't he go for a miracle? Maybe he sided it out. 
That seems like a weird idea. Just sign out and recall. Yeah, well, I don't have paths to exile. Maybe I should play some. I don't know. Oh, great. I mean that that's just helpless. Uh, let's let's not make it longer. Right, so um up to a very unsatisfactory free free. Um but I felt like I could win every match I lost and like the only unfavorable one was like Merfolk. And well the throne just got like bonkers and uh especially the bug like it was like <laughs> what the hell and well, well it had to work like against both control decks and against um the, the the aggressive hunted zoo it worked fine so i'm i'm happy with the deck i'm willing to test it for the ptq especially as probably nobody knows what uh what's gonna be the good and what what they want to play Alright, so uh, thanks for watching and see you 